Hey guys, it's your girl, Lashes Tony X. Oh, how are you guys doing today? So today I'm actually doing my September favorites. So yeah, really excited. Sometimes I do monthly favorites and fails. Sometimes I don't, depending on my mood, depending on if I really wanna discuss something, talk about things, and I will. Otherwise, I'll skip it. So I don't do them every single month, but I have some things I feel like we should talk about. So let's go ahead and jump in. I guess we'll save the fails for last. I feel like there's some really important fails that you guys need to listen. Um, just so you have a heads up of what not to purchase. So, let's go ahead and just dive on into this. So, let's go ahead and talk about the things that I've been loving for the month of September. Um, and I do want to start doing random favorites as well. Um, adding like hair care, skin care, um, maybe music, TV shows, food. I just want to start adding randoms, even clothing. If it's something that I've absolutely been obsessed with, then I'll definitely mention it in a favorites um, when I do them. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, all right, so the first thing I want to talk about for my September favorite, this one will be no surprise to any of you guys because I really wanted to be honest with myself about what was my favorite palette for September. What palette did I use the most of? I didn't want to pick one that I love currently or that I'm testing out currently. I wanted to be pretty honest with myself about, hey, did I really use this that much in September? And the one that I sound like a broken record, you guys are probably tired of hearing me say it, but this one right here was my September favorite. I had to say it was the e.l.f. Retro Paradise. Because honestly, guys, this was my most worn eyeshadow palette in the month of September. So, I will show you guys my, what it looks like. I mean, you can see there's some pretty, some pretty intense dips in some of these colors. Um, so, yeah, out of all my palettes, this one was definitely a favorite for September. I'm trying out some new palettes. So hopefully I'll have a new one to talk about for the month of October that I'm playing around with. But this one was definitely one I wanted to give a shout out to. I know some of you guys are still trying to find it. You say that you can't get your hands on it. But if you can, I do think it's worth it. These are the Natasha Denona um, Chromium. Is that what they're called? The Chromium Glitter Shadows. These are phenomenal. I, phenomenal. I don't feel like I hear enough people rave about these. Am I the only one that loves these so much? They're so easy to do a look with. Um, they're beautiful. They just have this like, what, I mean, when you turn your head, you can see different rainbow colors. They're gorgeous. I have two. I would like to have the whole collection, but I do have two. And I have the Dog Bane, which is probably my most used. And then I have the one called Scarab. So I will swatch. Scarab has a little bit more of a green blue shift to it, which is right here. Like you can see blue, you can see green. And this one is Scarab. I think it's gorgeous. Um, it is beautiful, honestly, but this one is by far my most used, the Dog Bane. I just feel like it is very easy to use this one. And it kind of goes from red to brown. Um, and sometimes it even looks a little bit yellow. So it just has this really cool color like this one is dog bane that's my favorite and that one is scarab i honestly thought scarab would be my favorite 
but I just don't wear that one as much as Dog Bane. But I highly recommend these, even though they are a little on the pricey side. I just think they're so wet looking. They're so beautiful. They have that duochrome like gorgeousness to it. I just don't know why they're not raved about as much as I want to rave about them. But these are definitely my favorite. I just love putting these on my lid. Um, they're just beautiful. I mean, you can just wipe them on your... And then if they dry, like, you cannot get them off. Like, okay. I'm trying to wipe them off. Like, seriously. And they're not coming off. So, once they're dried down, like, they were wet a few just a few minutes ago but once they're completely dry you really have to use like an oil base to remove them so yeah i highly recommend those i think they're great i don't like i said i don't know why they're so underrated but i absolutely love those um another like eye product that i've it's not new this one's not new but it's new to me this is the Too faced melted chocolate and these are the matte shadows I picked up the color, it's something Cha. I'll link everything in my description box. It is Chocolate Cha. Um, this, oh my gosh, it is so pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. Like I usually waste most of the product. Like that little bit of product right there can basically do two eyes. I mean, it literally, and it doesn't move like once it's down it's down like it, you can't move it around so that little bitty swatch could do both your eyes so i just really love this product as well i will put this in the crease and buff it out and have this beautiful like gorgeous it's like a warm tone brown it's just gorgeous it's like a pumpkin color i love just putting 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 it in the crease with a fluffy brush and just kind of blending it and like i said all that from that little bitty tiny swatch um so again these are hard to get off so i have to have like an oil base to get those off my eyes but i love them i think they're worth the money i would love to go get more colors of these i would love to get more colors of these these are great i think you would be these would be great to be why can't I speak English today? I think these would be great traveling because um, they're so easy. And you don't have to worry about bringing a palette. You just throw these in your purse and you've got like some eye looks. I, I just think they're amazing. I would love to have all the colors. So those, I definitely want to give a shout out. I think they're amazing. I wore all those a lot in September and I still plan on using those. Um, okay, so this right here is become has become a holy grail skin product for me so this is the super goop unseen sunscreen with the spf of 40. now this one was in a sephora favorites and you can see how much i've used it like all the writing is coming off of it i don't know if you can tell that but all the writing is coming off of it now this one is just a deluxe size i do plan i'm almost out of this so i do plan on purchasing the full size and i believe they have a limited edition even larger size which i think is totally worth the money so this one i would highly recommend if you have oily combo skin you are going to absolutely freaking love this sunscreen if you do not like sunscreen that sunscreen greasy feel and you don't have normal to dry skin you have more combo oily you are going to absolutely love the super goop unseen sunscreen also if you have tan skin a deeper skin tone what does it feel like it is just very soft and it just feels like it melts into your skin it does not make you feel like you have anything sticky anything gooey i don't like that serum feeling with oily combo skin i like i like my products to kind of sink into my skin and then not feel like i have it on this feels like you're naked it feels like there's nothing on so this is my absolute favorite sunscreen that they make highly recommend that one for oily oily combo or dark skin highly recommend that one okay now this is a sunscreen product that 
I absolutely love. It is tinted. It is the Josie Marin Argonne Daily Moisturizer with an SPF of 47. It is tinted, but, and it is a moisturizer, but it has an SPF of 47. So, what I like to do with this one is like, after I put my sunscreen on in the morning, because I highly believe in the sunscreen now, after I put my sunscreen on, and it's time to put moisturizer on my face, I will use this one. I will link it down below for you guys. Highly recommend it. It is tinted. It is a moisturizer, but it has SPF. So you're having that added SPF. And what I like to do is I like to put this on in the morning and just let it sink into my skin. And I get that little extra moisture. I get like an even skin tone. Um, it's not white. It's not going to make my skin look weird. It just melts into my skin. I don't feel too greasy or too oily with it. And then when it's time to apply my foundation and my primer and stuff, it just, it's already melted into my skin. It just, it feels great. So, highly recommend it. I've really been enjoying this because even with combo oily skin, I do like to have, being older, I do like to have some moisture. And if you can have a moisturizer with some SPF in it, then by all means, I love that. So this has, like I said, SPF of 47. So this has been my favorite moisturizer. So I wanted to talk about that. I am going to do a skincare video. I've gotten a lot of requests. Also do, I could show you my actual routine for a.m. and p.m. So let me know in the comments, would you like to see my a.m. and p.m. skincare routine or would you rather have like my favorite drugstore skincare and my favorite high-end skincare? Let me know in the comments how you would like me to do that video because I've been putting it off because I haven't decided how you guys might want to see that. But let me know. All right, so those, um, I also want to mention what I told you guys the other day, like I have a secret foundation that I have been absolutely loving and it has been making me like not greasy, not oily. My makeup has been lasting all day long and then I don't even have to powder you guys. Like that is saying a lot for me, like to go all day long and not have to powder once. It's amazing. Okay, so I want to recommend this not to my normal to dry skin girls, but for my combo oily skin girls, I really want to recommend this. Okay, so this is not a new product at all, but it is new to me. And I know some of you guys said you haven't tried it yet. So I want to recommend it. This is the It Cosmetics. The little, this is a little mini, like a deluxe, but they do sell this at Sephora. Um, Ulta carries the foundation version, which I also picked up, but this is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, the oil-free matte CC Cream with SPF of 40, and that is what I'm actually wearing today. So, it totally mattifies my face without having to worry about powder. I don't have to touch up. I don't get like greasy in my T-zone whatsoever. It has been my holy grail. Like I was for a long time saying, oh my gosh, the Urban Decay is my holy grail. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna have to change that to the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This stuff is like, where have I been? Like why didn't I know this about this product? Like I don't hear people talk about it. This is absolutely beautiful if you have only combo skin and you're looking for something to mattify your oils for them not to peek through um but also to not make you look like a desert either i just think this is amazing so i highly recommend it if you haven't tried it definitely give it a go like i said i also picked up the foundation version because i wanted to try that but i haven't really got to try it out enough to say it's my favorite but this is absolutely a favorite okay so what else do I want to talk about? So, um, I told you guys that the Urban K Lash Freak is like one of my favorite high-end mascaras. Now, like I told you guys before, the trick to this mascara, 
you need to wipe it off or you're just gonna get a lot of clumps okay so basically I'll just get a paper towel and just wipe it off a little bit and then I will go and it just gives your lashes so much length it is a very lengthening mascara so I highly recommend this one pick up the mini if you're not sure about it the minis are like 12 13 dollars just pick up the mini urban decay freak lash wipe it off before you use it because it does each time you take it out of the applicator a ton of mascara comes off the wands or leaves on the wands so you really need to make sure you wipe off extra mascara it's a very interesting one but it's very unique and it just gives your lashes like a lot of length and volume let me see if i can i don't want to get too much on here because i haven't wiped it off and i don't want to like make a mess with my makeup but i don't know if you can see the difference i just put it on the bottom of this lash and not this one it gives you a lot of length um but you definitely need to wipe it off so i wanted to mention the mascara all right so another favorite this is a hair care favorite. I really love the Kristen S. Dry Shampoo. I keep repurchasing this one over and over and over again. I love it. I know some people don't like the scent. It smells like... Let me see if I can describe it. To me, it smells... To me, it smells like a good smelling man like a man's cologne like not strong though like a really good men's cologne and it just gives you volume gives you body and it absorbs the oil i really love this for a really good drugstore dry shampoo it's absolutely my favorite one i've repurchased this so many times i'm going to continue to repurchase it and this one is just all reviving dry shampoo um and it is in the dark gray bottle so they do have a brown haired version i think they might have a blonde one but i just buy this one i really do enjoy that okay let's go ahead and talk about our fails and then we're going to switch back over to our random favorites so as far as fails i have several okay so the first fail i want to talk about is super goop this is the super goop setting powder with the SPF of 45. All right, the reason why I'm saying this is a fail, um, this right here has a little bit of a white cast. So if you have darker skin, you're probably not gonna like this. Also, I've noticed if I do kind of just go over my T-zone with it, I feel like it does settle into the fine lines and it will, if you keep applying it throughout the day, like maybe you want more SPF protection and you just keep applying it, it will start to look a little cakey. And this was $30. So for me, I don't think it's worth the price. I mean, I do love this by Supergoop. I, I think this is worth the price. It's like 30 something dollars totally worth the price this is $30 and I don't think it's worth the price now if you're if you're if you're gonna apply it maybe once you know you might want that extra added SPF and you don't have dark skin but I feel like if you have dark skin you're not gonna like it because it does have like it has a color to it and it is a lighter color um, also, like I said, with me, with the fine lines, and then if I want to apply it several times a day, I just feel like it looks a little cakey, and it looks like it gets into my fine lines. So, it's, for me, I don't, I would not repurchase this for $30. That's insane to me. I really have to love something to pay $30 for it. So, that's a negative. Another fail for me, which you guys disagree with me 100%, most of you guys are like, that is my favorite mascara. All right, so I do not like the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is the waterproof version. Maybe I would like the regular, but I just don't like the wand. If I'm honest, I always stab myself with this monster wand. I mean, you would think like using the um the freak lash, but this one I don't know. It's curved, and I just like it's scary. <laughs> it's scary. Like when I get near my eye, I always stab myself in the eye. So this was a fail for me. 
honestly, uh, mascara is all on your preference. So, you know, do you like the curve? Do you like the more thick? I feel like I'm talking dirty, but I'm really trying not to. Do you like the short? Do you like the, the long? Do you like the thick? Do you like the thin? Do you like the curve? You guys know what I'm saying. I do want to say this was a fail for me, 100%. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation with sunscreen of 40. Okay, I picked this up, number one, because it does have a sunscreen protection of SPF of 40. Number two, it is for aging skin. And I've heard a lot of people my age love it. But a lot of people my age do have dry skin, and I don't. So, with this, it's just like a serum. It's very liquidy. It's not my jam. I would not repurchase it. But, if you do have normal to dry skin, I think you would really benefit from this and I think you would really enjoy it. But, do not purchase this if you have oily combo because you are going to hate it and you're going to say, Girl, why did you tell me to buy that? Because I don't like it. I wasted my money. I'm telling you right now, do not purchase this if you have oily combo skin because you will not like it at all. It feels like skincare. It feels like... You're slathering like a greasy sunscreen on your face, which I hate that feeling. So I do not recommend this. All right. This is the Kosa Sports Chemistry Deodorant, okay? I have heard so many YouTubers rave about this deodorant. I tried to buy, you know, organic type deodorants that are good for you and on my journey I have ran into some duds but this one takes the case if you want to smell very stinky then go for it for some reason this does nothing for you I mean I am not a smelly person I promise but I sweat just like everybody else. I'm human. I don't know what to tell you. Do not purchase this. I ordered it from Sephora. It is pretty pricey for a deodorant. And it is like, they call it like a serum type because it has a roller ball on it. If you can see that. Oh my God. It's like the scent smells like BO. Like. I honestly think the scent should be called B.O. Like, it smells so bad. Like, every time I wear this, I want to throw up. It smells <laughs> that bad. And I promise you, I am not a stinky person, but this right here makes you stink. And I'm kind of offended because a really big YouTuber just raved, raved, and raved about it. So I made sure to pick it up. This is why I don't trust big YouTubers. So I was like, okay, I really need a good deodorant. You guys, this smells like the worst BO. It smells like you haven't took a bath in a month. It smells like you live in the woods with the creatures. It smells horrible. Like it literally smells like BO. Like the scent should be called BO. So I just wanted to save you guys some money and do not purchase this. Again, the Kosas Sport. E any of the Kosas. There's two different ones. This is I've heard uh, even um, Samantha March agrees with me. She said this smells like BO. She said she never stinks, and she put this on and literally when she smelled the rollerball, it smells like like you're putting BO on. It's like B.O. in a package. Like, who wants to smell like B.O.? I don't. Smith & March doesn't. Like, don't buy this. I'm not going to tell you who I listened to who said this was like the most... Basically, she said this was the most amazing deodorant on the planet. And it lasted her all day long. And it was amazing. And she highly recommended it. All I'm going to say, I'm not throwing shade, but I think she might be sponsored by this brand because this brand smells like B.O., okay? I'm just letting you know, don't purchase this. It smells horrible.
And if you wore it, somebody's gonna get the hell away from you because you're gonna stink. All right, so that is my last fail. Let's go ahead and talk about some of my faves, and these are gonna be random faves. So the first fave I wanna talk about is a TV show. So this is on Netflix. It is not by any means new, but it was very new to me. My son introduced me to it. It is The Umbrella Academy. I watched season one, I watched season two. I was sucked into it. It is an amazing show. If you have not seen The Umbrella Academy and you like, it's almost like between scary, suspenseful, and superhero all into one. So it kind of reminds me of like Stranger Things meets Marvel or something like that. It's really, really good. So highly recommend it. It is a little violent. So if you have little, little kids, they I don't know if I would let them watch that. It is a little violent, but I, and I do think they cuss as well. I got cut off there, so sorry about that. So anyway, I just want to recommend the Umbrella Academy. It's really, really good. I zoomed through about two series. Uh, I mean, two seasons. There's more to come, but right now I'm like, I cannot wait for it to come back. All right, so I wanted to recommend that show. Um, I want to recommend two Starbucks flavored um, iced drinks that have become my staple. Um, for the vault. So the first one again, you guys if you're on my Instagram, you know that I love this one This is the pumpkin cream cold brew. If you're not a pumpkin girl I think you will really like it. It tastes more like an iced coffee So what I do is when I get home I add pumpkin creamer to mine because I do like a very pumpkin-y flavor but Tiffany Dawn was at my house and I she doesn't like pumpkin flavor so I gave her a pumpkin cream cold brew and she loved it. And she's like, it doesn't taste that like pumpkin. It's not bad. So she's like, it tastes like coffee. So if you are a, not a pumpkin fan, try the pumpkin cream cold brew. But my new favorite one that I just recently discovered is the iced chai, which you guys know I've been an iced chai fan for many, many years. But you order an iced chai with pumpkin cold brew in it. Okay, it is delish. It is delish. So it's like, it's got iced cha and then it's got a little bit of pumpkin cream cold brew. It's like the perfect mixture of like heaven. So I highly recommend that one if you haven't tried that. The last two things I wanna talk about is music. Okay, so the two people that I've been listening to nonstop, Selena Gomez's um, Rare, I love every song on that album, Rare. It's amazing. If you haven't listened to it, it is, it is so good. It is so powerful, it is so good. I love every song on there. Also, I wanna tell you guys, the other one, the other person I've been listening to like nonstop is Taylor Swift. I really love her album, uh, Folklore. So she's got a lot of really good songs on there too. So I recommend both of those. If you're looking for some new music to listen to. Okay. Oh, forgot to, I forgot to add two more things. Okay. So these are just like event faves. So number one was my middle son's birthday is in September. So that was a fave. We had a little family get together. Very, very small. Don't freak out. Um, so it was like, I don't know, five people. Five or six people. So very small. Um, my son's birthday is September. So I love that. Also, Tiffany Dawn came and stayed with me. It was so fun. So that was a highlight of my September as well. So I do want to mention that. She did send me, she did bring me some goodies and I'll do like a haul later on for you guys. And we do have um, some videos that we filmed together that those are going to be posted as well coming up soon. So make sure to be subscribed to both of our channels and be notified in case you want to see them. So yeah, I hope everybody has a great day and happy October, guys. I want to say I love you to pieces and I will see you next time. Bye.